and decided before settling into my own career uh, uh, in finance that I would go and see a little bit of the world and ended up in Thailand um, where disaster struck one night. And uh, they brought a jump rope out, poured some uh, gas on it, lit it on fire and the rope wrapped around my legs and uh, the kerosene, the excess kerosene actually sprayed up into my neck, lighting my entire body on fire. And so just naturally instinct took over at that point and I ran into the ocean. I didn't know what had happened. He wasn't screaming or anything. And as he walked out of the ocean, I saw his legs. And right away I was just like, I didn't even know what to do. And I was treated. Uh, for burns that covered 22% of my body, basically mid-thigh down to the bottom, tops of my feet on both legs. So uh, both legs were completely burned, severe second degree and some third degree. But a few more seconds away from the water's edge, and you know, I would have been burned from the neck all the way down. So, which in Thailand, with the infection rate over there, was probably a matter of life or death. We got him home as soon as I could, as soon as he could fly. And I'm crossing my fingers that he's going to make it on the airplane. We walked in and I'm crying. Colin is probably a little bit, in, he's incoherent. And the nurses and Dr. Polito, they just enwrapped him and they just took him on. They, they, I just followed. At that point I felt like, okay, my job is over and I can let go and I can relax. He's going to survive this, but we can't tell what his quality of life is going to be. We're going to know more in a little bit. His injuries were confined to his legs, essentially the upper mid thighs downward uh, almost circumferentially and uh, he had done a good uh, amount of healing but he still had some scattered uh, open sore spots and the new healed areas were still very thin and fragile so he needed uh, still ongoing dressing changes and protection uh, to prevent these areas from breaking down. Just a day at a time, the people here were great, so patient with me, you know, even when those frustrating moments of feeling like not just the physical pain, but certainly the emotional pain of, you know, n not recognizing your body anymore. You know, I had been this elite athlete and all of a sudden I'm looking down, my legs are atrophied to the size of my wrists don't recognize my body and they just kept you know encouraging me and say you know you keep at this you keep doing these exercises you keep this we can stretch back out the skin and you'll be able to you know walk normally and then for me I had set this goal of I felt like I was going to be fully recovered if I could complete a triathlon and it's something I'd never done before and didn't know much about but so for some reason I said it to my mom in the hospital uh, in Thailand and this idea was fixed in my mind a goal had been set and so that's what I really focused my energy on every single day was not just being able to walk again, but be able to get to a point where I could cross a finish line. So when he said he wanted to be a triathlete, I said, okay, baby, let's talk about it. Let's get into the details. But in my heart, I was thinking, God, I, I hope you walk again. So it was just this amazing moment for me of triumph. What goal setting and hard work can do to pay off. It definitely put a lot of things into perspective for me um, and it changed a lot of things. Um, I love the life that I have now. Being a professional athlete, being able to travel all over the world. Um, but it's also really made some other things important to me. Just the importance of family, the importance of the people that are really close to me. But for the most part, I feel super fortunate and lucky that I can uh, you know, run and cycle and swim as you know, best as I can. For me, the lesson learned here is it's not, this is not just my own personal story of overcoming adversity to live my passion every day and reach for the Olympics. It's much greater than that. It's about never giving up. You know, for me, it wasn't just me. It was the support of my mom. It was the support of David. It was the support of Dr. Polito and the whole Legacy Burn Center who all rallied around me to make sure that I never gave up because there was dark moments. There was moments of sheer pain and agony, but even more than that, the emotional pain and the darkness could easily have enveloped me. 